We've got the, the, the finish for the metal finish, the dock, which is the water carrying side of the, of the notebook. Simply undock. And you can see it's a very thin, relatively lightweight. So, Brad, this. How are you marketing? This is supposed to be flagship, the best of the best of the best, is it? Yeah, okay. Hardcore gaming. Hardcore gaming. On the back as well as the, uh, as the, the ducks for the water park. So what are we looking at here? Obviously it's a Skylake. Yeah, Skylake uh, K-Series processor. K-Series. Yeah, K-Series processor. And graphics? Uh, 980, but it's a desktop processor. So, yeah. So when it's in the actual dock, you've got a full desktop graphics card. When it's mobile, as in... Okay, can you clarify that? So the 980 desktop edition, is that inside the laptop itself? The 980 desktop edition. Okay, so if it's undocked, somebody can still use the full full power of that Correct. GPU. But it steps down to a 980 panel. Okay, because earlier we have seen some uh, other laptops that, you know, they can run with the full 980 undocked. Okay, in terms of the, the graphics, full 980 desktop? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not too familiar with that particular machine, but in, in, in regards to this certain unit, it's, it's when it stops, it's the full, full 980, and then when it's turned off, it's become... So, okay, so we talked we talked about it's Skylake. And it's un so it's an unlocked Skylake. Yes. So what what type of what, what overclocking capabilities are we looking at in terms of undocked and docked, and what how's it work in terms of how ASUS has implemented it? Yeah, look, I, I haven't uh, been privy to some of the overall testing and benchmarking just yet. We've actually got a, a person that started with the company just this week who's going to do a lot of that technical PR type work. Um, so he'll be doing a lot of the testing on this very soon. Obviously, we've only had it in the country for a short space of time, so we haven't had much chance to uh, to do any of that just yet. But you will start to see things flow through um, our Facebook page because there's a lot of stuff that we're testing on this. So, is this supposed to, is it going to be a limited edition in terms of production units globally, or are you going to push yeah, it hard? Yeah. Or? No, we, I mean, we'd love to sell as many as we can, but it will be a very expensive machine um, and it will be limited to who we sell to in terms of the retailers that we, uh, that we sell via. Um, I mentioned before, um, we'll have it through to selected partners because it is a very expensive yeah. unit, but only certain people can sell the benefits of the machine. So, uh, yeah. Is Australia only getting a certain amount of allocation? Um, or does it work on a different way in terms of the business arrangements? Yeah, we forecasted some numbers behind the product, um, which we're getting our full allocation of that initially. Um, so, so in a way, it is, an, it is a limited allocation. Oh, sure. Because in the past, for Asus, you've had certain graphics cards and so on. You know, a thousand... A thousand produced or ten thousand produced, and no, only a no, handful no. end up coming to Australia. As you mentioned, it is a flagship product, so it is something that we're uh, putting, uh, putting the house behind, I guess you could say. Um, so the idea is we've, we've requested our allocation and we've been given that for our for Q1. Um, and then Do you have any specifications on the water cooling system at the moment? Um, not specifically, um, that, that I can turn off the top of my head. In terms of the lineup for this year, are there going to be other Asus models with the full 980? Yeah. The desktop edition? Uh, at this stage, this is the, the GX700 is the one that we're aware of. Um, there is more product in the pipeline, um, but probably not until the second half. So this, for the first half of the year, will be the, will be the bee's knees, uh, and then the second half. So, so excluding you know, this one, the best of the best of the best Halo, what's, in terms of the mainstream, what's the best from ROG in terms of the notebooks? That's the 752, would it be? Yeah, the 752 is the machine right next to you. So you can see physically <laughs> a very similar looking machine. And that one is not the uh, unlocked scroll like and that's just no, 980M. Okay. Correct. Yeah, okay. That's right. So, but still fully upgradable in terms of your RAM. So, in terms of what you can say at the moment, there's not really upgrade coming soon in terms of that sort of really mainstream slash gamer. We have to wait a while to see what you can bring to the platform. This particular product's only been out for a short space of time, so we had to do 751, which is a predecessor to the 752. This has really only been around for three or four months, so we tend to try to keep our gaming shadows in the market for a minimum of 12 months. 12 months. And yeah. in terms of this one, what's the warranty on this one? Is it a spe um, is it standard Asus warranty? We have a longer warranty because of its unique cooling. Yeah, currently, it's, it's, it's standard Asus warranty, um, but obviously, um, which, is, which is 12 months at the moment. What's the weight of the base unit? No, no, the, the, sorry, the no, 3.7. 3.7. 
And as you were saying, you know, we were talking about power earlier, so how, how that one has its own yeah, single, so single you, power adapter. When you're in your dock mode, you use the, the adapter that's plugged in because it is quite a large uh, house brick style adapter. Yes, yes. And then when you want to go mobile, you just use a normal uh, notebook, notebook charger. It is a bit larger than normal. Yeah. Well, yeah, and this does have fans in it. So it's a no, normal notebook. If we ignore the water cooling base, it's just a normal. Yeah, normal notebook. But it does have dual fan system. Yeah. So it's got a fan from the is there, any, uh, is there anything unique in terms of what ASUS has had to do to the notebook itself in terms to integrate this? So, you know, so as best as we're discussing, as, as much as a notebook as possible, is there anything unique about it because of the way ASUS has designed it to make it liquid cooling and to make it portable, you know, to undock it? Yeah. Is there anything unique in terms of how ASUS has designed it compared yeah, think, to, say, um, that one? Yeah, I think you'll notice it is quite similar. So it is, um, you know, so I guess, for you that we tried to mirror the look and feel of the 752 into the VX. Um, obviously, in terms of being unique, it's, uh, it's quite different in terms of the way we've had to build the back of the machine. Um, so you've got the good dissipation for the two fans that built in, it comes out the back, and then obviously for the four inch other things. And that's why I'm honest. What's the, uh, what's this one here? What's that? Uh, it's just uh, part of the undercover, so that's actually a removable piece for easy round up right now. This black section? Or, oh, no, no, the, whole, the whole section. Okay, so that's just like a decoration yeah, there. Yeah, it's just, yeah, exactly. Okay, so what type of I.O.? Let's just have a look at the I.O. on this side. So we have... Uh, so you've got USB, standard USB, HDMI, uh, display port, uh, USB and C. Uh, you've also got the high-speed um, uh, high speed USB-C. It's a LAN port. You do what you got to do. These are also the speaker grills which are on both sides um, for the additional speakers. USB and then standard. So you mentioned the speaker, does this have a subwoofer? Um, as far as I'm aware it doesn't. Um, I'd need to triple check that for you to be honest. And uh, what's the IO and the connected networking connector? So do we have SSD, we have Thunderbolt, uh, what's the fan does it have fancy Wi-Fi? Um, it's got AC wireless. In terms of the, the networking side, um, I can't recall the exact name for the actual networking um, in terms of your 10, 100, 1000, but it does have a, like a, a, I can't remember the exact name. Basically, it dedicates, it's got an engine in it that dedicates the um, bandwidth straight to the game that you're playing. So, say you've got a browser open in the background, it will automatically move. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we've covered that. That's a system for its own. Just in terms of storage, with, or with SSD, SSD yeah, only, SSD, SSD and hard drive. 512 SSD. And and is that a standard or that different specific um, um, capacities actually, in terms of for sale? Yeah, at this, at this stage the spec is actually a global spec, so it will be the same around the world for the initial run, and then once we've started... Sorry, can so you clarify that it's 512 SSD or 512 yeah, SSD? Only? There's not a secondary hard drive in the machine. Stage, no. yeah. Okay, and uh, so we have this is a mechanical keyboard, or is a standard yeah. keyboard? Uh, it's, a, it's a standard keyboard, but it's got a um, it's on the travel file. Okay, so, you, so you've yeah you've done some changes to it. Yeah. Now, some of your competitor in this in this price and in this uh, size they have a mechanical keyboard. Okay. Is that something Asus is doing, or because you've said you've modified this to make it a bit better in terms of the travel? Yeah, I think so. It's, you are considering that obviously because you've done those modifications. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've, we've Travel height. What, what we are considering at the same time, though, is um, obviously this is an awesome machine for desktop style gaming, but we do want to still have a portable machine. Um, we try to build a, a thin, lightweight unit. So it's a bit too far. So if you go in mechanical keyboards, a bit too far. Then. If you go mechanical keyboards, the machine's going to be significantly more. Okay. So, is there any other special special features in terms of what's inside the notebook itself? Um, no, not so the screen. Oh, we forgot the screen. Yeah, the screens are 4K. 4K. And that's an IPS screen in terms of... Uh, IPS, but it's a, a max style. It's G-Sync, 120. Is there any special feature yeah, of the screen? Yeah, G-Sync as well. 4K so okay. G-Sync. Yeah, we'll sync to our, uh, our G-Sync monitor as well. And that, as you said earlier, that's a single global spec. So we're not going to find, for example, one has 1080, a little no, bit cheaper. No, at this stage, we're no, 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 okay. we've, we've had to stick to a specific spec. All right, so now we have to go down to the pricing and availability. Can you just give us an idea for Australia and globally what's going on yeah, with this so thing? Because people have been waiting for a while to see this. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty cool machine. Uh, in terms of availability, it'll be early March at this stage. Um, we're trying pretty hard to get it, make sure it's here ready for early March. In terms of pricing, uh, <laughs> it'll be the value of a uh, well-priced second-hand car. And global availability, that's the same time frame? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much okay. Yeah. And so, what did, as far because obviously in Australia it's a bit hard for you to comment on overseas. So, is overseas is going to be wide availability or the same as Australia? 
Yeah, only certain similar. places we can get it. Yeah, similar. Obviously, we're not going to launch this in every part of the world that we um, we trade in, but uh, it will be a, a, available from around March, around the world, um, in selected So, it, yeah, one of the concerns we have in the past when ASUS launches a Halo product globally, you know, ASUS makes a lot of press. Uh, ASUS makes a lot of press, and maybe whether, you know, at certain events, whether it's Computex or Gamescom, whatever, the, we'll see the notebook or whatever the device is, the, the hype will last a couple of weeks and basically the device disappears yeah, very yeah, quickly. Yeah, it takes a while to come to market. Yeah, look, I, I, I've been in ASUS for nearly five years now, so I've experienced that a few times. Um, what I can say about this product, it, it was launched at EFA. It was always on track to launch at the beginning of this year. Um, and we're on track to do that. So um, we've pretty much managed to, to do what we said we were going to do with this particular product, which is, for what it is, is, is an impressive feat. So who was it for? Is this you replace somebody's d desktop tower completely? Yeah, look, it, it, ultimately it is. Um, there's still going to be gamers out there that will prefer that desktop style um, design and that custom build, but um, you know, we're looking at a bit of a niche, niche part of the market. Uh, and, and of 700 will be perfect for that type of hardcore game. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Tom.